what's a better way to wake up in the morning? <laughs> I've been gone for the last couple of days speaking at the Homesteaders of America conference and I will definitely have a video out about that um, and how awesome the conference was and how lovely it was to be able to talk to all these amazing people um, about getting started into beekeeping. When I'm away from my farm, I truly, just truly miss it. So I came up to see my babies behind me and I also came up to check the garden, check the greenhouse. <laughs> and this is what I woke up to. Typically swarming happens kind of in the afternoon, um, early, early afternoon. At least that's what I've been able to uh, recognize. So I have a feeling that these girls probably swarmed yesterday while I was not here. The last week leading up to the conference, I was so busy and I knew that there were a couple of colonies that were probably ready for uh, some extra space. But unfortunately the weather did not really allow me to get to that. So I had a feeling I was gonna be coming back to a beautiful site like that. What better way to start a day, right? You know, catching bees, catching feelings, all of that. So I'm gonna hurry up and get all of my equipment together. We're gonna catch these girls before it gets any later because I have a feeling by the wiggly dance, they were already trying to tell the rest of the colony, hey, we might have found a home. So let's hope that I can go interrupt them. Let's go. I'm hoping these girls are gonna be gentle. I have had a couple of swarms that tend to <clears throat> be a little bit moody, um, but for the most part, catching swarms, they don't really have much that they can protect. Um, so they are typically pretty gentle. I brought one of my extra boxes here. Um, I've got 10 frames that I'm gonna put in here. Uh, later today, I don't actually have any extra drawn out comb right now for them. So what I'll probably do is get them in the box and then later today, sneak over to some of our other colonies and go ahead and see if I can um, give them just a little bit of a reserve, uh, maybe some drawn out, maybe some that have some nectar. You know, give them a sweet treat and make them want to stick around for a little while. They're being extremely courteous at the fact that they're not 20 feet up and I don't have to try to MacGyver with an extension cord and a roll of duct tape. So the only thing that kind of stinks is I can't shake them, you know, like they're here. So like, how do you get them from here to here? So one of my favorite ways to actually catch a swarm is by letting them walk on the frames and hope that I can get the queen. And then eventually all of the girls were gonna follow. So that's my plan, at least. Give it a look. The queen I have a feeling is definitely not in here, um, but you can kind of see that these are all beautiful girls. But look, they're feeding each other. See that? See the big old boy? Hopefully you can. They're being really sweet. Sweet little girls. Okay. And here she is. I just got her. I just saw her. You see her? Look at her. She's beautiful. All right, Miss Beautiful Queenie Pie. We're gonna put you in this box. She's 
going in. I could put her in a queen clip, but you know what? I'm good. I'm happy. So. I always love to point this out, um, but I know that the queen is in there because I personally placed her in there. Um, but the rest of the bees are now starting to kind of migrate down. Um, and, and what these girls are doing, what they're showing is, is they're releasing the pheromones and saying, my queen is in here and, and come on, you know, telling all the other girls, come on. So I'll show you. Um, I'll show you the fanning. So if you if you guys are, are going to experience your first swarm uh, catching, you know, just some things to look out for. Obviously, if you find the queen when you're catching a swarm, bonus, um, but sometimes you don't. You know, sometimes you have to move fast. Sometimes you have to, you know, shake the bees and and just hope and, and pray that that, that queen uh, is in there. Um, so little signs that you guys can can pick up on is what are the girls saying? You know, what are the girls sharing? How are they sharing? Obviously, they can't just be like, hey, hey, you know, come on. So they have to to talk in a way that that lets the other girls know and by their way of communication is by by passing on the smell of the queen. So she's got this aroma and she, they know her smell, you know, they know her pheromones. So how they do it is by fanning, you know, passing on that smell and drawing all of these, all of their sisters, you know, <laughs> which I had a lot of people say they had no idea that the worker bees were female. Um, yeah, you know, they're female. So they're releasing the pheromones and they're saying, come on, come down. See this little girl? Her butt is up in the air and she is fanning, fanning, fanning. And this one too, this one too. Look at them all. They're all fanning, fanning, fanning. And and that's that is what you want to see. You know, that is that that way of, of saying my, our sweet queen is in here. You know, come come on home. You know, they're they are not homeless anymore. They have a home. I truly love catching swarms. And I know I can't catch them all. I know that sometimes I have to let them go. In fact, I was just notified that there was a swarm in a tree um, that's about 30 feet up. Now that one's gonna go, go out and eventually hopefully become a nice feral wild swarm. And then maybe one day we can catch them again. Um, but <laughs> these girls definitely came from my apiary. Um, and that's okay, you know. Again, I knew I knew I had a couple of hives that I was definitely needing to add on to, but um, we ran out of time, and that's why, you know, setting up swarm traps and just being vigilant, you know, we we were able to we were able to catch our bees back. <laughs> I'm gonna leave these girls alone, let them all get settled in. Um, hopefully they'll stick around for a little while. I'll probably come back and open up some of the other colonies so I can give them some drawn out comb and some nectar and some pollen, just something, just a little sweet treat, like a housewarming gift, you know? Um, so hopefully they'll stick around. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old.